Well, hello and welcome to what is, in effect, the second half of this grand global spectacle featuring the major characters of the world game. Gone is the relative safety of the group stage. This is where everything now is do or die. One mistake could cost you a place in the quarterfinals. Everything suddenly and awful not more serious. Stadium has that feel of a genuine Colosseum that could only be Rome. Well, there's a perceptible change in mindset here, both in terms of crowd and players. You know, Peter, it's the suddenness that I love when you get to this phase of the competition. The suddenness in which you can find yourself in a good position or the suddenness in which you can it can go against you. That introduces drama, which creates great excitement. He's had a go! Oh, that is rather wayward. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? From TT. Hernandez. And it's Griezmann. Mbappe. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Forward it goes. England have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Big chance! He scores! Oh, flags up, so that won't count. His delight very short-lived. The referee's assistant did have his flag up. It might have been close, but it was correct. A moment's uncertainty there, but it is the right call. Pope gets it upfield. Sancho, Kane, he's gone for it! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Been one straight back. Pogba plays it forward. Now oh, they can break here. Mbappe. Mbappe spreads it towards the left. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Griezmann really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. Pretty clear, it is a foul. Let's be lenient here. We can't get too many more chances. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. Obviously, he's not going to allow that feature, is he? And we have the first dead ball situation of the game. Promising one. Griezmann ready to try one. Griezmann! And the ball's come out. Hit into the middle. Pope deals with it effortlessly. Mbappe. Griezmann. Now it's Griezmann. Matuidi crosses it. Matuidi opts to play it. It's Pope! such a great time to score a brilliant boost before you head in for half time and you can guarantee that dressing room will be buzzing now i can give the keeper a little sympathy here because i think he might have been slightly unsighted however credit where it's due it's still a fine finish from a tight spot so the whistle for half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but that has still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom at the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. 
France, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. So we're just settling back into this second half. A solitary goal, that has been the crucial difference. Jordan Henderson, and it's Chilwell. Coleman, Conte. Now it's Kane. He's played him through. Sterling unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Titi brings the ball forward. Hernandez. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, this lead is beginning to look a little delicate. I'd rather see them show the ambition and adventure to go further ahead but it seems as if they settled for a, a riskier approach now to defend this. Maguire. Sterling. Kante did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Mbappe. Pogba. Pope gets it away. Sterling just brushed off the ball there. Hernandez drives it forward, and it's Griezmann. Matuidi shooting chance. It's off target and by quite a way. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Now it's Sterling. England need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Well positioned to make that interception. Kane. Maguire. Nicely measured pass. So that's it, it is all over. France advance, and now they can focus their thoughts on the quarterfinals. So Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, the result matters more than the performance. This team can grind and keep grinding.